Hey YouTube, welcome to another video by Python Bro. This is a Pygame Tricks tutorial. Uh, we're going to talk about a couple things in this video. Um, I'm actually going to break it up into two parts, um, but there's three uh, three cool Pygame isms that we're going to talk about today. Uh, the first thing we'll talk about is full screen, and I'll just keep that a, a quick full screen video about using Pygame dot full screen. Uh, and then the second part uh, will be about getting continuous input from the keyboard. Uh, and using pygame.transform to transform an image, to rotate an image, where we're going to use tr pygame.transform.rotate. You can do some really cool things uh, with pygame.transform and pygame.transform.rotate, uh, but we're just going to keep it simple uh, and just do some simple transformations. So let's jump in and uh, talk about doing your game full screen. Anytime you you make a Pygame program, you're going to make a screen object. You've seen these in other videos. You make a pygame.display.setMode, and uh, the set mode parameter is a resolution. A uh, typical resolution is actually uh, the one that I use when I'm testing games uh, is 640 by 480, and 320 by 240 is just half of that. Um, so let's let's go ahead and go back to 640 by 480. We're going to make our blue background and our plane is going to transform. It's going to turn to the left and turn to the right. That's what our that's what our program is going to be. We're going to be working on for these two videos. Um, now, you can make your game full screen uh, by sending a flag, in, which is another parameter for uh, dot set mode. If you don't already know, a quick tip for learning an API is to start just typing different modules, typing different uh, uh, objects and methods it has in uh, the documentation. And anytime you type a command like this, uh, you can type the command and then type the first parenthesis and wait a second, and it'll tell you what that specific method expects as parameters. Um, dot set mode expects a resolution tuple, and then it expects a flag, which is uh, basically like a keyword. Uh, it's, it's something that the documentation has already set up like in this example, it will be pygame.fullscreen. Uh, you know, maybe there could be other ones like, um, I don't know, pygame.2screens or something like that. That's not a real one. Uh, at least I don't think it is, but uh, you, you, get the, you get the idea. I don't remember what depth uh, is or what it expects, but we're not going to be talking about it today. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, d uh, adjust the resolution and then make it full screen. And there's two ways that you can do this. Uh, you can you can work with full screen. The first way is to make the game uh, full screen the highest resolution possible, the highest resolution that your screen allows. And how you do that is you send a tuple of zero zero, and then under the flag parameter, which is the next one, you type pygame dot full screen and full screen. The word full screen is in all caps. Excuse me. Uh, and then when you do that, it'll run full screen at the highest resolution your computer can handle. So let's go ahead and run that. My computer is 1600 by 900 is the, is the resolution, so 16 by 9. Covers the full screen. The uh, sprite image is at the highest resolution uh, that it can go. Pretty cool. Really simple. Now, what if you want to maintain the resolution because uh, you have different monitors, you have different laptops, different screens. Uh, if you want to maintain the resolution, what you're going to do is you're going to pass your resolution that you've based your whole game off of. So let's say we based our whole game off of uh, uh, Game Boy Advance resolution, which is 320 by 240. Uh, we can pass that resolution into the resolution parameter and then also pass pygame.fullscreen, and it'll go full screen at the resolution you, you input it, at the resolution you've based your game off of. When we run that, um, because of the screen capture software I'm using, you guys can't see the full screen. You just see like a window in the top left corner. Uh, but that's representative of what I'm seeing on the full screen. I see a full screen 320 by 240 resolution image of my plane on a blue background rotating. All right, that's full screen. It's very simple. You've got your resolution, you've got your flag, and you can adjust those to your heart's desire. In the next video, we'll talk about uh, pygame.transform.rotate, and we'll talk about getting continuous input from the keyboard. See you in a sec. One more thing I forgot to talk about. 
Unless you have some super awesome, sweet exceptions set up for any kind of error you expect, if you have errors in your program and you run it at pygame.fullscreen, uh, it your computer may lock up, uh, or it may not lock up. It just may not. You may not be able to exit full screen. You may not be able to exit that frozen program. Uh, I know on Linux when I do that. Uh, I basically have to, sh to restart the computer. I have to um, manually shut it down and start it back up. So watch out for that. Either set up some sweet exceptions or the solution that I've used is just make sure the program runs perfectly under normal windowed conditions and then add in pygame.fullscreen. That's it. Remember that. Talk to you in a sec.